Welcome to Massive Beers. My name is Matt. We do beer stuff here. One of our favorite beer things to do, which we've been doing, it's like a recent thing, Massive Beer Review Classics. This is another one of those beers where I go, man, I need to re-review it. I haven't reviewed it, but it's a seminal classic. Old Engine Oil Harvestons, or Har... V Stone, V Stone, Har I can say Harvestons. Uh, old Engine Oil. I have not had this beer in forever. Uh, I am a hundred billion percent sure I have reviewed this. Yet it's not on my channel. I've reviewed the barrel aged versions. I um, actually did a crazy vertical with my buddy Brad. Uh, it's called Ola Dub. Um, that's their barrel aged version of this beer. And I did like a, a multiple year vertical. If you want to go check that out, you're more than welcome. But I saw this on a shelf for a reasonable price, and it's been very, very long. So we are diving into it. Uh, what do we have going on here? Hoverson Brewery, uh, brewed in small batches. It's a 6% alcohol by volume, a viscous, chocolatey, roasty black ale. Um, on the back here it says, Harvison's original master brewer, Ken Brooker, spent um, much of his early years crafting uh, wooden prototypes for the Ford Motor Company. This black viscous reminded Ken of thick, goopy car engine oil. Uh, so he named it in honor of his second love, the internal combustion engine. Its thick, chocolatey flavor leaves roasty, bittersweet aftertaste to savor. They're adding... Um, <clears throat> no, that's imported. Be United is the importer on this. They are located in Hillsfoot Vill Village, Alva, Scotland. We have... Man, it says A8218 as far as a code on the back. 2101. So I assume it might be a 2018 bottle. Because A8218, I would assume would be the 18. Is it going to be that old of a beer? I hate, I hate date codes. Anyway, we're going to drink it anyway. Um, because that's what we do. So yeah. I haven't had, I, uh, there's no hiss on this. I think it might be old. So we might be dealing with like a six or seven year old bottle. But that's what you do when you don't put date codes on there. I can't decipher it. Um, give it a rough pour. Just throw it in there so we can get what head. Oh, that's not too bad. Um, so we'll see what's what. So it's a black ale, 6%. They do a beefed up version of the barrel aged ones, obviously. Yeah, label wise, I love it. It's kind of old school classic, so we can get down with it. Beer wise, there was much more of a head than I thought we were going to get based off of zero hiss. But it looks the part of a black ale, looks the part of a porter, looks the part of a stout. It's a good nose. Man, it smells really good. A big roasty toasty component to it. Almost at a level like you think you're getting coffee off of it, or it's a coffee beer, I should say. That chocolate. That promise of chocolate really does come through, and it is that kind of bittersweet chocolate. It's definitely leaning way more baker's chocolate than even sweet, but there is a sweetness to the beer itself. So you're just floating on the edge of that. If it is super old, I'm not getting a really a ton of oxidation off of it. It does really come off. I'm not going to say viscous because I haven't actually drank it, but chocolate and roasty is pretty spot on when it comes to this beer. Very much reminds me of like a low ABV roasty kind of... It's not Cascadian... It's like almost like a low ABV Russian Imperial Stout kind of vibe to it. Oh, that, not that hoppy on the nose. That's probably a wrong way to put it. It smells really nice. Roasty Toasty is the name of the game. Chocolate, bittersweet chocolate, more baker's chocolate is the name of the game. We're just going to dive in. Cheers, y'all. Tasty. Mm. It's been so long I forget what this beer tastes like. That's really good beer. There is a touch of oxidation to it, so I think it does have some time on it. I could see this being from 2018. There's a little bit of thinness to it, but again, it's 6%. You're not expecting a big um, mouthfeel to it. The oxidation is there and just um, presence alone. Like, you know, it's there's a touch of it there, but it's not like beating the beer down or doing anything overtly negative. 
and just that roasty toastiness, which absolutely 100% comes through. And it's really nice. Like, it, it stops short of being like a coffee thing. It's more of like a... Hmm. It's like, it, it, it has coffee, like, roasted vibes, but very much kind of like... I lack, the, I lack what I'm trying to get right now. But it, it has this roasty malted vibe to it that comes off slightly um, Russian Imperial Stout with a big, huge, hot presence to it. And then the chocolate portion of the show, absolutely baker's chocolate. There's a touch of sweetness to there, so I can understand why they say that on a bottle. And this is the other thing. I don't know if there's any science to back this up. I don't know if you all can see that. There's these, like, bubbles have been formed in this in this beer that I poured completely out. Um, maybe I'll do this so you can get a better idea. If someone knows the science, that you should be able to see that, hopefully, behind that bubble formation. And the reason why I bring this up is that I've noticed on dark beers that are do have a decent amount of time on them, they tend to form bubbles like that when they're older. I don't know if it's an oxidation thing, a negative oxygen thing, an age thing, or me just, you know, correlating something which doesn't make sense. But I've always noticed that on relatively old, like two, three, four plus year old beer, dark beer, when I pour it out, I tend to get bubbles kind of, I don't know even what you call that, cascading, gritting. Something along those lines like that. It, it, I don't know if there's science behind it. Anyway, back to the beer. Even with this, assuming this is that old, it drinks quite nice and it drinks quite tasty. You know, picking it up, it was more of like a novelty for me because, full disclosure, I, I wasn't like a huge old engine oil person. I could dig it. I can get down with it. I understood it. I, I, I When I had one, I appreciate it, but it's not something I really went after. My buddy Brad, who I did that vertical with at Old Dub, he was really the old engine oil person um, in my life. And it just, you know, I haven't seen Brad in a while, and I, I saw this on the shelf, and I was like, yeah, I missed that dude. And I was like, you know what, I should review this. I should review this. And it's better than I thought it would be, honestly. And even with the possibility of it having a decent amount of age on it, I think it's quite nice. Yeah. A little touch of... Take this with a grain of salt. Sour milk. I can get that. That's also a very aged thing. A beer to it. So I'm really curious now to kind of look at this date code and, and kind of hash it out. I'm almost positive it's a 2018 bottle. I'm going to have to try to find something fresh. Um and see if it's markedly different. But Harveston, as far as breweries go, I do really do dig Old Dub. I have to be in the mood. Um, it, it, but they really make fun beers, and since it's been a while since I've had one, I'm glad I dove into it. I dig it. It's fun. Is it one of the better Black Ales I've had as late? I don't remember the last time I had a Black Ale. Um, is it one of the better... I don't know. Whatever I want to classify this. Beers? I don't know. Do I dig it? Yes. Is it Mount Rushmore status? No. That's probably the best way I put it because I don't think there's a classification, especially of beers that I drink normally that I would put this in. Uh, but I think it's tasty. I think it's fun. I'm glad I picked it up, especially for a classics review. Value and availability. I think I, I want to say I paid $4 American for a single bottle. I'm cool with that for a single bottle of something like this I haven't had in a while. And leave you with, if you like what we like this beer, if you like Black Hills and you like Roasted Toasty, you want basically a session version of a Russian Imperial Stout without a huge bitterness. This will do you. So there you go. Um, the review on the books. Old Engine Oil. What are your thoughts? Have you had this beer? Have you had it aged? Have you had it fresh? Harvison? Have you had their beers? What do you think of Old Dub? What do you think of this? The whole kit and caboodle down there. Hopefully you enjoyed the review. Hopefully you're enjoying some good beer right now. We'll see you next time. Cheers all.